Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about big crowds. Now, these, uh, this little topic is one of another one of these things that irritates me the most and also gives me anxiety. So it's like between one of the two. So with big crowds, I just can't stand big crowds. They just irritate me sometimes. Because if you've got a bunch of people bunched up near me and they're a bunch of strangers that I don't know, then, oh, you're bound to be... Ugh. I don't do anything when it comes to big crowds. I don't push them away or end up starting fights. No, some people like to start random fights. And some people just push them away. I get it because there's some people out there who just can't stand being claustrophobic and being squished up with another person. So they're like, move out the way. But as much as I want to shove another person just because they're in my space, I don't do that. Even if it's tempting, I don't do that. Because I have my own personal bubble. And if anyone gets near my bubble or gets closer to me, then my hands start to turn into the shaky, grippy motion. That's when you know that you need to back off and just leave me alone and try to find another place that has some sort of space because of, and the, what's worse is that it happens in school too. Even if I'm at a store, Halloween party, I can't escape it at school because when I was in high school, I couldn't escape big crowds. And what makes big crowds worse is that I try to get to my class. And what's blocking me from getting them, um, for me going to my class is two or more people standing there having a conversation when they don't realize that there are some people who need to get to their class. Or, or another thing, slow walkers. Oh, slow walkers make makes things a whole lot worse. Like, aren't they in a hurry? Like, if they're walking really slow, don't they have places to be? Like, why are they walking so slow? Or they're just trying to test other people's patience. They're trying to get people irritated. But I, the, here's the thing. When I get irritated with slow walkers, I try to find like an opening like, especially when I was in school, high school, and it was lunchtime and there were slow walkers, I speed walk my way to the cafeteria and grab my lunchbox and all of that. So I try to find an opening to a point where if anyone is walking really slow, I can ease my way through them. No problem. I'm sure there's a lot of people who hate slow walkers and people who just stand in the way of you trying to get to where you need to go. And, but if I go somewhere, like if it's with my mom or family member that I feel comfortable with or closest friend or anyone else that I know that goes with me to places, that's fine because I feel comfortable going with someone. I don't like going anywhere alone because it makes me feel uncomfortable and I get lonely every once in a while. So I got to bring someone with me. Even though I can't do this forever, I can I can try and go some places by myself. But it's just it's eventually it's one of those things I have to conquer alone and do things alone. But I don't have to do everything alone. I can always ask for help depending on the situation. I know I can't do ask Ev do everything with help. I know I got to do things by myself. And that's the thing with um, either if it's crowds, going places, or if it's anything else. I got to do some things by myself. And I'm sure there's some people out there who are struggling with this issue similar to mine. So no matter how cr um, big crowds can get, I'll always have someone to rely on when it comes to things. And another thing is that whenever I get near a crowd, I always have to feel like I always have to get, stay with them. I don't want to split up. Like if there's a horror, like, you know, in horror movies where the main character's like, hey, I got a better idea. Let's split up. Let's, 
look for clues like for like Fred from Scooby Doo. I know it's not a horror movie, but sure does hell seem like it. You know, you got ghosts and all of that, and Fred's got the brilliant idea. Hey, let's split up and look for clues. Such a dumbass. But hey, it's got to keep got to keep things entertaining. Got to keep the show going. But no, I always have I always have the instinct of sticking to someone I know that's close by, whether it be my mom, friend, anybody else that I know and care about. I got to stick with them because if a crowd separates me from someone I'm with, oh, it makes things a whole lot worse and my anxiety heightens a lot more than usual. It's just insane. It's just uncomfortable. <sighs> but I oh, I try to find my way back to the person I'm with, thankfully, because I know I'm not always going to be lost. And always, let's not forget this one thing, always carry your phone with you if you're lost. That is if you're like, you know, if you have a phone, because if you don't, then you're screwed. Because there's some people out there who don't have phones, but me, I got a phone right Um with me so thankfully I have that so anyway that's all I have to say for this week's video I hope you guys enjoyed it like comment share subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you guys in the next video peace